In this lesson, we are going to create complete order screen. What we're gonna do is to show a message like this to the customer when they place the order. And in the backend, we are going to create a model for order and create a new order in the backend API when user complete the order. Let's implement this feature together. Here is the plan to complete order. What we're gonna do is to create a new screen inside a screens folder order a screen.js create a react functional component here and we are going to complete order in this screen let's go to app.js to add it as a new route complete and the screen is going to be complete screen. So in the UI, when you refresh, you will get complete order here. We are going to show the order number in this screen. But first of all, we need to create order model and create an API to create an order. Let's go to server.js and right before port we are going to create a model for order to create a model we are going to use mongoose.model the first parameter is the name of model and second parameter is the schema using mongoose schema like this Inside this schema, we need to define the fields of orders. The first field is the order number. I'm just using the number order type. Let's fix the mongoose here, payment type. And I'm gonna use some Boolean fields. Is paid, is ready, in progress, is canceled, or and is delivered all of them are false but in progress is true by default next fields are items price tax price and total price at the end we are going to define an array for order item and each item in order items is gonna be an object that contains name price and quantity Let's define the timestamp as a parameter for this model like this. That's the definition of a schema for order. After defining the order model, we need to create a post request to create a new order. Let's define it like this. And in this API, first of all, we need to get the last order number using this line of code in order that find or return all order and we sort them based on number descending and just get the first one so from last order we can get the last number using this code if last order dot length is equal to zero it means that there is no order in the order collection so we set it as a zero the last number otherwise use that number the next step is validation here is the validation code if order type payment type order items and length of order items is equal to zero then return this error message data is required otherwise we just create a new order using this line of code order by getting all the all data in the rec.body and pass the number as a last number plus one if the last order number is five the new order is gonna be six and then we call save on this model to create this record in the database after creating that record the last simple thing is gonna be 
returning that to the front end using this code. That's it about the API to create an order in backend. Let's go to complete a screen. And in this screen, we are going to call that order, that API. First of all, I'm going to get React context using this code. Import, import store. And from state, let's get the order. And from state.order create, let's get loading error and new order information. Order create is a new object that we need to define in store. Let's scroll up in the initial state, define order create. Order create is an object and I set loading to true because by default we are going to create an order. It should show a loading box at the first place. To change the state of order create, let's go to the reducer and at the very end of reducer cases, let's define a new case. This one is order create request. This action will happen when I'm going to send a request to backend to create a new order. So I need to set loading to true for order create object. Let's define this constant in the constant.js export const order create request and duplicate that for success and fail. Success and fail. Copy and paste them to create three actions and we need to import it here. The next case is success case, this one, and import it and import it using control space. What I'm going to change in the React context store is to change order create object, set loading to false, because at this point I get the data from backend and set new order to the data that we are getting from payload of this action. Let's implement the case for error, this one, and import it. What I'm going to set is to change the error message to what we set in the action.payload. By having these three cases in the reducer, it's time to go to actions and implement create order action. We are going to use this actions name here. Define the body of create order action that accept dispatch and order. If we check the order contains all information about the order that we are going to create on the backend. Before sending Ajax request, we need to dispatch this action. Why we do set this? Because we are going to show a loading message while we are creating an order in the backend. Then define a try catch body. And in the catch body, what I'm gonna do is to dispatch this action. This action changed the state of React context to the error message that we get from backend if there is an error there. Let's go for the try part. It's time to send an Ajax request using Axios. After getting data, we need to dispatch this data and the type of action is order create success. The data here is the information about the order that we send back in server.js at this point. Here, we send back the created order. And here in the action.js, we get that data from backend and pass it to the React context. Also, we need to clear the order information to make it possible to create a new order. That's all about create order. 
and we are going to use it inside complete order screen here in the complete order screen we need to define a use effect like this and the dependency list just has order if there is a change in order this function will runs again let's import use effect from react and inside that we need to have a check if order.orderItem.length is greater than zero it means that we have at least one foot in the order and if it's true we need to call create order action let's import it from src slash actions and what will happen here is to create an order if there is a food in the order okay it's time to show some data get rid of div here and create a box another box and the last internal box here inside the internal box show a logo and here i have a condition if loading is true show a circular progress bar show a circular progress and the loading is coming from react context and if you are creating an order it shows a loading otherwise if there is an error show an error message and the last case is the good case we are going to show order number here create a typography and inside that show this message your order has been placed and show a thank you message and show the order number to the user also at the end we need to show a box to invite user for order again and by clicking on this button user can start ordering a new food let's save it and import stuff let's start by material ui logo from component folder alert typography and for styles let's use it like this use styles from src slash styles.js and the button for props it should be as a parameter for complete order screen and yeah that's it there is no error here use a style is a function convert it to a function and let's test it again take out this one and this one done proceed to check out pay here complete order great your order has been placed thank you and your order number is three we successfully created a new order in the database and we can order a new order here so let's test it with a new order like this and make sure that it works perfect check out add counter yeah the last order number is four great that's it about this lesson we completed order creation workflow in this lesson and for next lesson we are going to publish this website on Heroku and work on the admin side to show a queue for users to show them in a big monitor and also create an admin section for personals in the restaurant until that lessons bye bye